Hello, man cavers. I'm back playing on the uh, Atezra again. I did finally get up with customer service. Uh, customer service sucks, uh, by the way. Uh, I've emailed these people several times. It took them like three days before I got a response back from them the first time. And honestly, I didn't get a response back until I posted the video before this one. Um, they haven't made reference to that, but anyway. Um, and then they, they were more than happy to contact me back, but it was... You know, they said they would contact, you know, communicate within 12 hours. It was 24 hours each time, and every time here on the East Coast, I was getting emails from them at 2 o'clock in the morning uh, compared to, you know, supposedly the customer service centers on the West Coast. It's not. Um, the eBay seller that I bought the product from is the same individual, oddly enough, that was replying back in a uh, customer service side because he just copied and pasted emails from both places or responses, I should say. Um, but anyway, all that being said, supposedly there's a new screen on the way. There's a new board on the way. Unfortunately, the way I look at this is I paid, you know, all this money and now I've got to work on the thing for them for free. That's not very good, in my opinion. But anyway, I, I just want to get the thing up and running. Here's a different situation that I've run into, and it's probably a Donnie issue, not a, a Tezra issue or a Lightburn issue, but this is the issue I've got, and I, I'm, I'm struggling to figure it out. So, um, yeah, let me show you what we got going on. Um, a brief description, uh, you know, I've been cutting some test patterns. Uh, I got my um, laser offset set up because this Tesla comes with a, 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 an, an offset on it. Um, I got that stuff set up. But what's happening is, is when I frame, it frames at the home position. But then when it goes to cut, it goes to the offset position. So it doesn't frame in the offset. It's framing kind of wherever it's at. And then when you hit it to cut, it goes starts to cut where the pointer points which is the offset position because you know we got it turned on but why is it not framing in the offset here's what we got i'll show you so i got it set up for just a quick little cut um as you can see here i've got the crosshairs set there um should be in the offset i'll show you here on the computer screen hopefully you'll be able to see it on the screen but let me find my machine settings. Let's see here, we go here. Um, pointer offset enable. Your, your numbers may be a little bit different if you're using the same machine as I am, but you know. But here's my settings. Somebody tell me if I have something off because yeah, I, I have no clue what's going on here. Um, but I do know that, you know, these are the settings that seem to work, but we're gonna leave this check because that's, that's where I want it to do. But when we hit um, frame, I'm going to bring you back over here. We'll hit frame, and I want to show you where it frames at. Um, it's framing outside the part. But now, watch this. When I go to cut it on to cut, it'll come over and start and actually cut where it's supposed to. And I've got it just set to, that's not cutting. It's just going to do a light score on it. So yeah, as you can see, you know, it scored where I wanted it to score at, and the laser offset worked, you know, according to where the, you know, the, the offset of the laser, because you remember originally we had the offset, you know, we had it set here, and, and it, it it did what it was supposed to do as far as the cut goes, but the, you know, when it did the, the framing, it, it did the framing out here. Just like, you know, this is the laser origin. This was the home spot. This is where it was actually at. But the framing is not framing 
according to the offset that we have in. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know. I mean, I've looked over my settings again, and I've played with them a little bit here and there, and I keep coming up with the same thing. Obviously, I could, you know, do away with the enable offset coordinates for right now. Um, it's, it's supposed to have it. I, I want to use it. It does make it easier lining stuff up, setting your positions, you know, I mean, because the thing's out of the way. Uh, so, yeah, you know, help a fellow YouTuber out or, uh, you know, if you just enjoy watching and you know a whole lot more about this than I do, let me know because I have no clue. But anyway, thanks for watching this little video. Um, I'll keep you updated as things come along. Uh, anyway, y'all have a blessed day and uh, check back with us soon.